let's first figure out the equations describing each segment of the graph from 0 to 100 meters, and then from 100 meters to 200 meters. Using y equals mx plus b, we can come up with the equation that represents the first segment, which is v equals 0.08s. The second segment is the negative of the same equation and its y-intercept. So it's v equals negative 0.08s plus 16. To determine the acceleration, we need to use ads is equal to vdv. For the first segment, we can take the derivative of our equation. dv over ds is equal to 0.08. We can manipulate it to write it like this. Using ads is equal to vdv, we can substitute values in. Simplifying gives us a is equal to 0.0064s. For the second segment, we have to do the same thing we did before. So let's find the derivative of our equation. Again, we can use ads is equal to vdv. Let's substitute the equations we know and simplify. We can now figure out the acceleration at 150 meters. The graph for this looks like this. Thanks for watching, and if you have any helpful tips for others to learn from, or you have a question, please comment and we will do our best to help.